Whether you're giving a keynote to hundreds of people at a conference, perhaps you're talking to a meeting of peers, or even if you're making just a presentation at a job interview, you will always get so much more buy-in if you paint a visual picture in people's heads. That means using storytelling and imagery in what you have to say in your talk. The less you say more powerfully with lots of pictures, the better. Now the word imagine is probably the most powerful word that you can ever use. It helps you instantly launch into a story about your business or your products, your services, your success, for example. Now, in my case, I could say, I'm an MC, I help X, Y, Z by hosting their events for them so that they can achieve better results. Fair enough. But I could say, imagine you're organising a really important, vitally important event for your business and you, you need someone like me to act as your MC to handle everything that's going on stage, to welcome the speakers, to keep the audience engaged and to just make sure everything runs perfectly on the stage. That tells you what I do, but it hopefully helped you see a picture of an audience and a stage. You, you got what I was doing through the visual picture rather than me just telling you what I was doing. Okay, so another thing whilst I've got you. So many speeches tend to use passive language. It's dull. We need to use action words so that the audience can really immediately understand what it is that you're saying. So instead of saying something like, um, to ensure that, it's much more straightforward to say, so that we can. You're essentially describing the outcome rather than, you know, calling it a solution. And that is something that nobody can picture.